Most people that completed school had to wake up in the morning, jump out of the comfort of their own home and go to a public primary or high school. Well, check the statistics. In the US, 90% of people who completed school have attended a public or private high school, an academy, a grammar school or any type of school that's not at home. And a small minority of people, specifically 6.73% of people in the US has been homeschooled. With online school, most students had to do online school due to that goddamn pandemic. You guys remember that. <laughs> we all went through that. And if you're thinking home school and online school are the same, well, it's not. I see where you're coming from, by the way. You're getting taught at home in both online and homeschool. But the difference is that homeschoolers are normally instructed by the parents or some high teacher. And it's just a student learning and the teacher teaching. No one else. However, online school is virtual where you and your classmates are getting taught online on some random platform like, I don't know, Skype. And it's all administered by a public school. And you might ask, homeschoolers can be taught in online classes as well, so it's basically the same thing. No! Online school is for the people who do go to a public school, but due to certain reasons like the pandemic, the weather, or anything else, you do online school temporarily until you go back to your public school outside. Homeschoolers are students who could have went to a public or private school, but their parents or the students themselves decided to grab their education at home. And apparently, homeschooling is banned in nations like Germany. So any Germans watching this video, you guys ain't gonna relate. That's unless if you jailbreak that law, then in that case, your parents are savages. Like The way how people are homeschooled really varies. Some people just had to teach themselves using the computer or books, where all you do is read documents and take quizzes on your own without a teacher or parent conducting the class. Then the AI marks the answers for you and you just get your work approved by your parents. There are no schedules or due dates for any subjects, assignments or tests. So you can do any subject or work at any time or place that you want. Oh, and you have no homework because homework is your schoolwork because you're getting taught at home already. If you film, you film. So if you wanted to, you could get away with doing no work for months and months. If you were homeschooled that way, I know you were procrastinating the whole time. Don't lie to me. I'm on your way. You're watching YouTube videos, talking to your friends or playing games when you're supposed to be doing that math assignment and you're like, I will do this first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, that is the most dangerous lie. Well, I'm a YouTuber. I do this as well. Trust me, you are not alone. I can easily relate with you. And you could easily cheat with the assessment because who gonna stop you? Famous Aisha Speedwords. Your education is basically your responsibility. But eventually, avoiding schoolwork for months can buy you in the because if you have no work submitted, you're going to be one of those guys working at supersonic speed at lastminute.com to submit their assignments by the end of the academic year. Another way of homeschooling is that parents take complete responsibility for your education and design the curriculum. This is where you're sitting down in your bedroom or the living room where your parents themselves or a high teacher are teaching you. This is called traditional homeschooling. And if you got strict parents, I kind of feel sorry for you. They wouldn't give you a break and their aura alone just scares you as well. Just don't fumble that test that your mom hands you out or don't do anything shady because if you do, oh my days, yes, the weapons you're gonna get. Those African or Middle Eastern or Asian, uh, it's not gonna be a joke, I promise you. But the problem with homeschool is that you don't get to socialize enough. Like I said, it's just you and the person teaching you at home. So all your so-called online Discord friends will tell you to go outside and you're fed up of it. I mean, I can't even lie, that's the only thing you're gonna hear if you're getting homeschooled. It's definitely going to be difficult making friends after you finish school. And after the end of school, if you don't make your moves properly, you're gonna end up like some fried weirdo. You will never experience playing sports with their boys or you wouldn't even know how to act when a girl is around because you just haven't went to a public school that's just kind of deep for you man also you have a lack of accountability you were just waking up whenever you wanted doing work at any time you wanted and just did anything you desired at any time so that makes you think you're the king and you can get away with anything so when you work a job you think it's all good and sunshines and rainbows to arrive five minutes late all the time dear homeschooler this is the time where you feel the wrath of those stretch ass retail managers trust me it's not gonna be a good look when those managers shout out your face with their stinking breath and like i always say it's not always the case most homeschoolers turn out fine when they finish school but so does public schoolers as well personally i don't know why parents just hated the idea of public school though sure public school can be hell i made my first show videos complaining about public school but in the end it's not that bad is it do me a favor 
Shut the fuck up. But how about online school? Online school is like a virtual version of public school. You have a schedule, you have to be in your class at a certain time because if you're late, the teacher will call your parents and your parents will punish you by turning off the Wi Fi. Your attendance and punctuality is actually being recorded, unlike homeschool. And the teacher teaches not just you, but 30 other students in that class as well. There are frequent tests and assignments, and there are due dates. So you can't just be a slick Rick and get away with not doing work. And lessons run in a way that it would normally be run at a public school. The most popular apps where online classes operate is on Zoom. Maybe Microsoft Teams, the platform I use in my previous school. But in every online school, you always got that one troller who is trolling the online class one way or the other. Maybe he says some sh such shit on the chat. You gotta say to the teacher, Sir, there's something behind you. And then the teacher looks behind them and there's nothing there. And the troller will be like, Love my ass off, you fool. Man, shut your or play some inappropriate music in the background maybe hack the home zoom class and put some random memes on everyone's screen or some stupid stuff that he just does like it was not even funny i'm not even gonna lie you also got that guy who skips online class as well like bros who skip school and online class he just really doesn't care you got that one person with a loud ass background if their parents are arguing or there's too many people in their house like how are we gonna pay attention when you got that loud ass stuff in the background just mute the microphone it's not even that hard dog when you got that one guy trying to raise up the girls in the class because he feels comfortable enough to ask them out since it's not in person brother no matter what you do she's still going to reject you just let it go bro and bro you can't tell me you didn't have that one guy who never shows his face during the meetings are you a wanted suspect in which you can't show your face or maybe a little bit insecure and that reason is valid i can't even lie to you or maybe you're one ugly old bozo with an illegal hairline then yeah i guess you have a reason to not show your face it's ironic me saying that because i'm a youtuber who doesn't show my face in my videos not because i'm insecure or anything if you guys want to see my face just follow my insta john scully shameless plug i know by the way you got that guy who thinks he's on mute so he says stuff that he shouldn't have said and you got that other girl with some trash ass internet so her screen is always laggy. Sis, you definitely need an infinite cable. And you always got that girl using your phone during the class. I mean, I can make a whole video of types of people during an online class. So if you guys want a video, just let me know. In terms of teachers, you always got that one boring teacher that talks so much waste. Like, I don't want to hear none of that or even be in this lesson for that matter. And no matter the school, public school, online classes, boarding school you always got that one old art teacher who just doesn't care about the job always looking tired all the time brother's only there to get his hours in and get that paycheck and he couldn't give a rat about teaching or no damn class and you always got that one teacher with just pet animals like either some big ass dog who's just going on the table interrupting the teacher and the class or some cat who is meowing the whole class session like brother told those pests to shush goodness I don't know why I dislike pets, but I just do. And pet lovers, do not cancel me. It's just my opinion, okay? It's never that deep. And you always got that questionable teacher. Basically, every type of teacher that you normally see in every class in any type of school will be in an online school as well. Just don't get it twisted. So which one is better? Homeschool or online school? Well, all I'm going to say is public school plays both. The end. Thank you.